Yeah, hi everybody and welcome back to uh, our new lesson over here and today we'll be learning about the, some of the basic walkthrough on Android Studio. Before we can go and write or develop some of the application, we need to know some of the basic function that uh, Android Studio or uh, ID provide for us. And let's go and start. So first of all, we'll go to the some of the menu option over here. If you see the top menu, we have a file, edit, view, navigation, code, and analyze, refactor, build, run, choose, VSS. So these are the menu that it has provided us. And let's go and see that some of the options like a file, you can just go and create, open a, or a new project. Uh, you can just click on to start a new project and the file you can also have open. You can open the project that if you have already developed a lot of uh, and if you go to the setting over here then you can like uh, set some of the setting for your the Android Studio IDE like if you want to change some like code editor and if you go over here and go to the general and you can just set some of the option over here and if you go to the font you can just select the font and say increase the font or you can also change the font over here. So that's the basic thing that we can do with our uh, the file and the setting. If you want to set up something, you need to go to the settings over here. And the other thing that we need to learn about is about the uh, view. Then you can see what are the tools available over here. And currently we have uh, things that you don't want to, if you don't want to see a toolbar, you just uncheck it. And if you want to again check, if this, that's the now how we can add. And also about the build, we can make a project and you can clean the project, generate a APK file from here. And run is basically if you want to run the app to a device or your actual device or virtual device and debug the app if you want to run debugging. So these are the, some of the options available for us. And the tools we have are Android AVD Manager. This is a AVD Manager is an Android Virtual Device Manager and SDK is a SDK Manager. And if you click on SDK, we have a lot of SDKs. Like if you can want to download lot the SDK like uh, API level 9, 10, 9, 8, uh, 7, 6, 5. So all of the API level is available from here, which is you can see from 2 to the 10. So uh, these are the SDK manager and the main thing that you have to note is where is the SDK file location. So basically the, this will be a uh, main, main important uh, to locate the where is your SDK. So just keep a note on where is your SDK file located. And the other thing that we have to take note is our project over here. And if you see the project will basically, this is all of your project belonging to the Android. And if you go and click over here, if it's Click on a project, this will be all of your files that inside your directory. And if you right click and if you go and say open or show in the explorer, then this will show you uh, one of the all of its folder and the file available. So if you go and see that it will show you where is your file and it will show all of the file available for us. Then just close this one and we'll change back to the Android from here. And this other thing like a manifest over here, we have Java and REST over here. And the manifest over here, it is a heart of your Android application, like adding the permission or adding the activity or adding your service, broadcast receiver, intent filter, anything you want to add to your Android application, this will be the place for you to add. So don't, uh, don't get panic. We'll be learning slowly on how to make use of this Android manifest file. And for now, just uh, keep it note that this will be the heart of our application. And if you go to the Java over here, we have uh, for first one, if you stick, this is our package name. If you remember that when we created the application, this was, was our package name. So com.example.codeLink demo app. And if you want to separate it, you can just go over here and you can just say uncheck the compact middle package. So if you uncheck that one, it will say com example and the Kotlin demo app. So this is the actual folder structure inside our uh, the project file. So if you just right click and go so in Explorer and you can see that if you go inside the app and SRC and if you go to the main over here, we have a Java which is over here. 
and we have a com which is this one and example which is uh, this one and kotlin demo app is this one so that's the folder actual folder structure inside our project file and the other thing that we have to take note is the this one the anything that we add over here this will be our code editor where we'll be writing our code for our application so we, each activity has its own code editor where we can uh, code or write a program or we, even we can add a new class a new activity over here and the next thing that we have to take note is a race so race is all of your resource file available like a driver folder will hold all of your resources like a image or whatever your background image your app uh, app image that you want to set up like your picture box image a button image so we'll be placing inside our driver folder and the layout folder is over here for our like a layout any of the design that you do for like anything that you see in your phone screen like you see uh, in your phone screen maybe you see some text box or maybe you see some button or check box so this will be our layout so we design a layout so all of the design layout will be inside our layout folder and uh, min map is over here is a uh, uh, this is a place where we will be adding all of our icon for launcher so in your android application launcher uh, if you see or uh, if you notice in your phone that you have a application uh, app installed and you have some icon for that one so basically we will be adding inside this folder which is a meet map so inside the meet map we will be adding uh, all of our icon for our application or our app and the value folder inside the value folder we have a color which will be holding the colors like let's say you want to have a different different color for your button your text box check box so we'll be all adding inside our color file over here so which is an xml file and inside the string we'll be adding all of the string like let's say your app name your button name your text view name uh, any name that you want to set up uh, anything related to a string that you want to set up we need to set up in our string.xml file and style is the style of your activity like how your toolbar will look like how the color of your app toolbar and how is the theme of the of theme of your application so we'll be defining inside the style and the gradle build script over here and you can just go to the top level this is the top level gradle build over here and we will not uh, not changing much over here we will just change uh, we'll just come here to change if we need uh, to add some of the optional available over here but by default we should not change any of the thing and if you mess up this one then you'll be in problem so your app application will be messed up so don't uh, try to change uh, if you don't know what you are doing over here and the next thing that we'll be using is a build that gradle so the build that gradle is uh, we'll be using a lot and if you want to implement some of the packages like third party libraries and like a third party uh, application libraries that you want to use will be adding inside our dependency over here and this is our uh, build application if you if you see over here the compile stk like uh, and 29 some of the config that we will be using for our application build up so this file the uh, android uh, build will be used by our android studio to build our application so if whenever you see a apk file then that is come through our build process which will be adding all of the config file will be added from here and the other thing that we can also can say over here like a build variant which is also very important for us like a app and you see the build variant you whether you want to release the you want to uh, build a release version or you want to build a debug version so basically we'll be working on a debug first and when you want to release it to play store we'll be working with a release this come from a build uh, build variant over here and also the products uh, project structure and we also have a resource manager a resource manager is also quite important for us if you have any like all of your resources like your image whatever you add inside your project uh, driver will actually come up to our android resource uh, over here and the other thing we can make use of is i think that's it for this uh, lesson i think it's quite long already i think it's a 10 minute long video already and we'll be using a lot of other functions than when we actually try to develop and build an application first for now you just remember that we have some of these available options available for us to work with android studio 
So let's continue with our lecture in our next video. Till then, have a great day.